Stress. It can cause your hair to discolor. Has this happened to you or someone that you know? There's a reason why this happens, and I'm gonna share what, with you here in a moment what is going on in the body and why this happens. If you're around cigarette smoke and it makes you feel badly, you get a headache, you feel nausea, and it affects you the rest of the day and you get irritated by it. What's going on? Why are you so susceptible and someone else isn't? I'm gonna show you the scientific mechanism behind it of why this is one of them, not all of them. Oxidative stress is a scientific term for free radicals. Everybody understands free radicals and free radicals cause damage. That's what you know. Oxidative stress is a scientific term for that. They come from your food. You eat too much of food, you can get oxidative stress. You eat the unhealthy foods full of chemicals, pesticides, herbicides, GMOs, what have you. These all can contribute to levels of oxidative stress. Then you live in an environment which has a ton of cars and pollution and these things, you're inhaling them in and they're starting to affect all your organs because why? High levels of oxidative stress. And if you live in the country, that's awesome. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna knock you off the boat here. This stuff gets up in the air and it flies over and it can dump on your house. I live in Seattle. We are affected by the coal burning manufacturing facilities in China. They dump here over my home from China. Your garage. Everybody has a garage and it's not everyone's is a nightmare like this and no it's not mine but there's chemicals, there's pesticides, there's herbicides, there's oils, there's carbon monoxide. What do these all do? Increase oxidative stress and free radicals. Clean it up. Get them out of there. Stress itself causes oxidative stress. What? Yeah. Being stressed by itself can increase free radicals in your brain and damage it. So being calm and collected and getting adequate sleep is extremely important. But let's face it, how many of us live that every single day? I try, but with three kids and a lot going on, it's not easy. What's going on? What is free radicals and oxidative stress from a scientific perspective? You breathe in oxygen, and that oxygen gets damaged, it gets converted into superoxide. And then that superoxide gets converted to hydrogen peroxide. Remember Obama's hair? Remember how it was dark and then it turned gray? Hydrogen peroxide. Have you tried when you were younger to pour hydrogen peroxide on your hair to bleach it? Well, that's what's happening. The stress in your system caused your own glutathione levels to drop to such an extent and your hydrogen peroxide levels jumped to high to such an extent that it discolored your hair. Now, as these levels continue to rise, this next free radical gets created and it starts damaging your DNA and then it starts affecting your organs because it destroys the proteins around it to some extent. And then it starts affecting the cell membranes and the cell membranes get damaged. There's a lot of stuff that happens when that occurs. The beautiful thing is the body is constantly aware of these hazards and it's cleaning them up. How does it clean them up? There's pathways, and this is only one out of many, but this is a really big pathway. Here's that superoxide free radical, here's that hydrogen peroxide free radical that caused the hair to turn gray, and then here's oxidized damaged glutathione. These things are all free radicals or causing oxidative stress. How do you reduce these things? Well, as you follow the arrows, the oxidative stress from the superoxide goes into this enzyme, uses manganese in order to work that. Superoxide then converts, it gets converted into hydrogen peroxide. Now you need selenium to take that hydrogen peroxide to get glutathione to transform the hydrogen peroxide into water. And you need glutathione to do that. But then after the glutathione turns the hydrogen peroxide into water, you have damaged glutathione. That's not good enough. Now you need to convert that damaged glutathione back into usable glutathione. How do you do that? You do that with riboflavin, vitamin B2. This pathway is absolutely critical to keep oxidative stress at bay and on par. Now, how do you support that? You support this by supporting your body with the nutrients it needs. When you look at here, you've got manganese, 
You have superoxide, selenium, riboflavin, glutathione. And when I was drawing out this biochemistry, it was like an aha moment. I said, if I can design a and formulate a product that provides all of these in one capsule, I can support people's oxidative stress easily on a daily basis. And that's what I've done with this product here, because every one of these compounds is found in this product. You've got the manganese, selenium, riboflavin, glutathione, and superoxide right here. And this product is called Oxidatix, and it's designed to protect and support your body's natural defenses against oxidative stress. That's what it does, and that's why it's called Oxidatix. And you can find this at SeekingHealth.com, and I encourage you to defend yourself and your family today by using Oxidatix. Thank you.